If you're like me and you've been getting pretty bored of playing on the same build in the same playstyle, you're looking like a fresh new original build to use, then this build is for you. It's going to be able to shoot. It's going to be able to dribble. It's going to be able to dunk. It's the build I always wanted to make and I'm excited to finally make it. So without further ado, let's get in the video. Like the video if you want me to get this build a 99 overall. Yo, what's up guys? It is Power DF. Back with another video guys. It's been a while. I know I haven't uploaded in a little bit, but honestly, it was because season two, it was just getting, it was getting boring to me. So I just took a break. I took a step back. And what I realized is this whole game was annoying because of how repetitive it was getting to me. Every single time I got in this game, I was playing the same builds, play shot, two way playmaker, glass cleaner. Everybody uses the same exact builds. Everybody does the same exact moves. Everybody is going left, right, left, right. Everything, everybody is trying so hard to be the same. Nobody wants to be original. Nobody wants to stand out. So I've always wanted to be a person where I took pride in not only just being good, but being different about myself. So here's what we're gonna do about it, guys. Number one, I'm gonna start making a new build for us to try out on the channel every single season. So I have a special one for you guys this season right here. I wanna drop it in this video. And I'm telling you, it's crazy. When I say original, it's nothing you guys have ever seen before. I promise you, you guys have never seen anybody make this build. Like that's how original, that's how it's different it is. But I wanna do that every single season. So number one, like this video right now. If you want me to grind this build, I'm gonna make out the 99 overall. And number two, comment what build you guys are thinking about me making next season. And when I get legend, we're gonna be just doing that anymore, trying out. I wanna try some different play styles. I wanna find my new build. I wanna make the build I always wanted to make. And this build right here, I wanted to make for a long time. So, if you guys been watching me, what are the things I like to do? I like to shoot the ball. And I made a build um, last season, and it was a good build, but it just wasn't me because it wasn't a pure shooter. I like being a stretch. I like pulling the, all the shots. So, this build I'm making right now, it can shoot from deep. It can green every single time. It is a stretch shooter. But also, it's a build that can dunk. I've always wanted to build like a slash and stretch that can dunk. This build can dunk over people. It can go up. It can make contested layups. It can catch alley oops. If you want to lob and rep for him out here. And also, it gets enough playmaking where it gets pro dribble moves. So you can get the dribble moves. And I'm going to be able to get open and it has defense so i feel like it's a such a good all-around build but it's such a good shooting build too so this is a build i know you guys are gonna love i'm gonna break it down right here and like i said comment what builds you think about i should make next season because i'm gonna be looking into that i know that's a long way away but let's get into the build without further ado all right guys so what you're gonna want to do for this build as we get in here is for position, you're gonna wanna go power forward. Hand in this, you wanna go left-handed. Jersey number, I always do seven because that's my favorite number. And I'm telling you guys, this build is different. I was really excited. I've always wanted to make this type of build, but it's one of those builds where it's like, you know what I mean? You're scared sometimes to try something new because people be judging you. They're like, oh, that build is gonna be trash. Okay, coming down right here. This is a pie chart I've honestly never seen anybody use. I think it's one of the new pie charts or maybe they had it last year, but I've never seen anybody use this pie chart. And you guys are gonna might be confused about like what are you guys doing but it's the more green than blue pie chart right here so i'm pretty much a stretch it's like the slashing stretch build i always want i'm pretty much a stretch but i'm also gonna have slashing in it so for a physical profile i did speed obviously right here that's gonna make me as quick as possible as i want to be um what i did right here is i upgraded the close shot to 93. now you guys are probably like okay why are you upgrading the close shot this is so i can get a ton of finishing badges very very easily on this build so Close shot is probably one of the best thing for finishing badges. Driving layup 71, driving dunk is gonna put this max out all the way. Mid range shot, we're gonna put this at 76. Um, three point shot, mats. Skip free throw, max out your post fade. Pass accuracy, you wanna mats. Ball handling, you wanna mats. Interior defense, you wanna mats. Leave out perimeter. Lateral quickness, you wanna mats. Your steal, you wanna mats. Your block, you wanna mats. Your offensive rebound, you wanna mats. And your defensive rebound. So you're gonna 
Mass all this, but um, Pritchard Perimeter Defense back up by one right here. And that's going to give you the 10. Okay. And then put up the post control by two. And then 11, 20, 6, 10. This is why I picked this pie chart. because this is one of the only pie charts where you can get shooting and you can get finishing and you can get a really, really good badge count. So what I realized about this game, if you've played this game, you know this to be true. I used to be so obsessed with getting the build. Okay, I'm going to be able to get contact dunks and I'm going to be able to shoot. But what I realized is contact dunks are actually so overrated in this game. Like <laughs> nobody rarely ever gets a contact. But you, what you want to do is be able to finish really effectively. What you want to do is be able to dunk really effectively. And it's one of the best, most important badges in this game is limitless takeoff. So if I can get a lot of finishing and being able to dunk from far away, being able to have a posterizer and being able to, what well, I'm going to show you later with my takeover, this is going to be a crazy build because of it's pretty much like good at like everything. It's good at shooting. It's good at driving. It's multi-functional. That's what I like to call it. So body shape, um, built. I always like to do them built. Weight and height, I went down to 6'7". Um, this is going to put the three-point shot up. Um, it's going to make you faster. And it's not going to ruin the defending so too much so you can still get a rebound and everything. So it's going to be able like, you can fast enough to be like a guard type, but you also can play the big with this, you know? Um, so height sits seven. The weight is what I do is I put down this weight and I put it to 186 right here. So what you want to do is... So it doesn't ruin the speed. So 186 is the last way you can get the max high speed that you were later, but also get some extra strength. So 186 is why you're doing that weight. Um, wingspan, what I did for the wingspan is I just masked out because that's how I get that extra defensive rebound. This is gonna give me really improved defense in the shooting. You know how it is in this game. If I have a 76 three, I'm honestly not missing. Um, driving dunk is pretty high right there at 78. The key thing is the bar handling right here, 71. So 71 is low, but once you get this build to 99, which is so important, to see me grind this build to 99, I'm going to be able to have the 75 bar handle and be able to get all the decent pro dribble moves that I even use on my other players. So 89 wingspan right here, and then go, and you have to take over. Now, I really wanted to use a different type of takeover. I wanted to use the slash and takeover. So you can go sharp. I feel like sharp might be one of the best, but slashing is going to give me a different feel because... I'm, this is a shooting build and slashing. Okay, I'm gonna show you this whole build right here is almost like it's like a catfish build. Like you see this build, you're not gonna think it can do what it can do. So slashing take over right here. Go ahead and put that. And the build name is the slashing playmaker. Like nobody's coming out here and thinking I'm a majority green pie chart and I'm a slashing playmaker. So slashing playmaker, cool name. This is a this is gonna be this is gonna be a great slash and playmaker build. It can shoot, it can dunk, it can do multiple things. I'm gonna I already made the build as a rebirth. Um, so I'm gonna go into the rebirth and I'm gonna show you guys everything I did and what kind of badges I chose. But right here, we're gonna have a test builder as if the build was done. So to show you guys like how to upgrade it. So if we go in test builder right quick, um, we'll upgrade this. We'll pick 99. And here's what I would do for finishing, guys. So let's take off gold, finish finisher, so underrated gold. Then we'll go posterize with gold and then I just put the rest in slittery silver. That's literally what I would do. I might play around with these because I haven't tried out all the finishing batteries, but right now that's what I'm thinking we're gonna go with. Um, for shooting, literally when I, I'm a big fan, like I feel like I do different shooting than a lot of people, but Hall of Fame Sniper, Hall of Fame um, Hot Zone Hunter, that's just definitely what you have to go with. Um, I like going with catch and shoot just because the way I play, but if you don't catch and shoot a lot, you can obviously take this down. Um, so I usually put this on go to Hall of Fame just because I like, never want to miss a catch and shoot. Um, limitless spot up, I like catching the and shooting from like deep so I can get that catch and shoot when I pull it from so deep where it's like they're not even expecting that. Um, so Hall of Fame, limitless spot up and blinders. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. I'm thinking like gold. And right here, it's just like you can put it anywhere else. I usually just save this and put like bronze lucky seven. So I can quickly shoot a shot and they won't be expecting it. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the build right now because I'm using this more for like a stretch type thing. Um, so confirm playmaking. What I'm going to do with playmaking is bronze bellow, obviously. Quick first step, gold, um, bronze bullet passer, and then bronze unpluckable so I don't get red right here. So it's not going to be able to dribble really too much. Um, but it's more of like, okay, you can 
catch them taking off the dribble, it's like a stretch type build. Okay, confirm. Um, what I'm gonna do for defense right here is literally go ahead and take rebound chaser. You gotta put that on gold. Bots, bronze, and then I try to get chased down artists right here. Brick War is kind of like I usually go in silver and run that. Intimidator, I really like Intimidator right here. So Intimidator, bronze, Interceptor, bronze, and then spread it out and maybe do Clamps, bronze. So that's how um, I'm going to be rocking with that build right there. And I'm going to show you guys it in a second with it already made. Mm. All right, guys, just to show you guys right quick. Um, if you guys don't know how to already use the Rebirth build, you go start the My Career and then you click the build and then you just click, yes, I want to make it as a Rebirth player. And you skip the um, intro right here and then it'll show you. And it will definitely, and you just got to pick your team right here. So... Well, I always team I try like to do for my career, guys, and I just use the Lakers for everybody because the Lakers are literally at the mess for my career team. But anyway, once you make it as a rebirth build, it will show you, and I have to get the plus one. This is, oh, this is the key part I got to show you guys. So when I get this plus one, what I put it towards is playmaking because I felt like my playmaking was a little bit weak on this build. Um, so that extra playmaking can help me. And defense, it's, I wanted defense too. So we see the playmaking and defense, that's kind of the choice. But um, playmaking, I felt like, was more necessary. So I put the playmaking right here. That's kind of your choice, though, if you had the level 39 extra. So it gave me five, nine, three, four, which is, that's low-key good. That's almost, that's pretty much half of my badges already done. So that's that's really good for those badges. I'm going to go, I already have it made. So I'm going to show you guys when I upgrade it to immediately the 90, because it's going to let you automatically upgrade the 90 when you make it as a rebirth build. So I'm going to show you guys how i upgraded it i'm going to show you guys what badges i use just to like start it out with and i'm going to tell you guys a secret right quick that i don't know it's a little sneak peek if you made it this far in the video so um for the badges we have finishing badges um i just did silver fit, fearless finisher and gold limitless takeoff for shooting this what i have right now silver catch and shoot hall of fame hot zone hunter gold sniper playmaker i just have bronze 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 but we'll get that as we leveled up and in defense, I just have bronze spots and gold rebound chasers. So if you guys, like once again, like this video, if you want me to level this to 99, I can start using this on streams, trying it out, slashing playmaker. People are gonna be so confused when they play me. Um, but the secret I do wanna tell you guys, oh, but before I do that, we're gonna show you this. So this is how I upgraded it for 90 overall. Um, you guys can see um, close shot, mid range shot, pretty much left empty like post control and post fade. You can get all like the key stats you want. Um, but if you're upgrading it straight to 90 from the start and you have the rebirth, this is how I would upgrade it. So I don't even know if they took away the rebirth now or people can still get it. Um, but I got my rebirth like early on. So if you have it, I think you have to win like 10 3 3 games or something on current gen. So the secret I want to tell you guys is I actually changed my jump shot. I don't know if I'm going to make a whole new video on it. So if you're watching this video, maybe you're like be one of the only few people that like know this. But um, I actually changed my jump shot. I have the same jump shot, but I sped up the time because I realized you guys know me. My jump shots are always like super, super slow. So it was the same jump shot. I just changed the timer from three fourths to four fourths. And I noticed like a big difference. And like, okay, people just can test me and everything. So if you use my jump shot, I did speed it up. And I kind of recommend you speed it up because if you can master that high speed, it's just, it's so much harder to contest and so much harder to like stop you. But I don't even know. I feel like it's not worth making a whole video. Like, oh, I upped the speed on my jump shot. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? But anyway, thank you guys for all watching the video. If you have not liked, like, um, comment, like I said, comment what type of builds you guys would like to see me make next i'm not going to make a new one until next season but comment so i can get an idea in here and i am oh it's funny man. how now she be calling me back she see that i got it i'm stuck in the trap 40 autos and we put it right back 40 autos and he left in the back i can't be trusting because people just act i get the money i run it right back the plug out my phone